Hello everyone and good evening. I would like to welcome you to the artist talk and opening for Eat Art Spaces uh, exhibit for May, which is um, featuring Katie Murphy's oil paintings and screen prints. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to, uh, Katie Murphy should be joining us in just a couple of minutes to give her artist talk about her exhibit here at Eat Art Space called Space Please. And in just a minute, I'm going to see if she is here. She will be joining me. Oh, there she is. Welcome, Katie. She's going to tell us all about her work. Thank you to everybody who has showed up this evening. Let's see. Is Katie here yet? <laughs> there she is. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited. It's good to see you this evening. Thank you <laughs> good for. To see you. Okay. Um, I want to welcome everybody here tonight. Um, we have a few viewers here already trickling in. Again, this is the artist opening for Katie Murphy, oil painter extraordinaire. And um, <laughs> we have several large scale oil paintings here in the gallery, and I will be taking a tour. I'm going to be talking about our food feature, the Pakalachin, which is a food truck out of Abingdon, Virginia. And they, um, they very graciously cooked us something special um, that Katie and I actually ate way earlier than this, <laughs> than this evening. Um, so good. Very excited to talk about that. Um, they actually have a couple of upcoming events next weekend and the weekend after that up in Abingdon, Virginia, which is not that far away from Johnson City where the gallery is located. And um, so I would encourage any of you who are um, especially hungry for Pakistani Appalachian blended food to go and make your way up there um, <laughs> and enjoy some of the wonderful things going on. Um, yay! yay! So, Katie. Thank yes. you for joining us. You, oh your God. exhibit, you had a very, um, when you and I were working together, you had a very direct idea of what you wanted to call the exhibit. Mm -hmm. And you came in with a, the diagram and the plan, and it was beautiful. <laughs> and I am so excited to talk about what you want, like everything in this work. Now, for those of you who have not seen the work as Katie is talking, I'm going to flip the camera around. And Katie, if there's a specific piece that you want me to whip around to, you let me know. I'm going to hopefully not make everybody seasick. So here goes. <laughs> Sweet. Behind yes. me is, let's start there. Okay. Sweet. Yes. Hi, I'm Katie. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm primarily an oil painter and I usually work uh, medium to large war mat. And so um, yeah, this, this is very large. I'm going to move is, over here. <laughs> this shows large. lots of small format paintings. Um, but yeah, and I'm also um, a printmaker, um, but yeah, I'm excited to share these paintings and a few prints with you tonight. Um, yeah, something that I think about a lot and um, pay attention to coming up in my work is the idea of space for women and the space that women are given to exist in and whether that space is given to um, like allocated or given by choice or like chosen and the difference that that makes in a situation and then the different like um, the growth that people go through and you might find that a space that once fit you doesn't fit you anymore and so a lot of the figures are sort of crammed into canvases and some of them are like expanding past the canvas and um, I like the idea of a whole picture and so I think that each of these paintings and the prints they show a part of a whole because just one part of an experience is never the whole thing and so um anyway and also the phrase space please is a phrase that I've taught my children um as an appropriate thing to ask for so we literally if if we're feeling overwhelmed or you don't feel like talking or someone's getting too close <laughs> in our house we say space please and um that's a request that gets respected. And so just that general idea of the space that someone's given or the space that you might need as a person is sort of what I was thinking about with this um, group of works. But the first one, that green one that you were starting off with, I'm that one's called- around here. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is the largest painting in the entire show. It's about 
I think, oh, if I remember correctly, it's 48 by 48. Yeah. Is yeah, that correct? 48 yes. inch square. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yes. Good, good memory. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so starting with this one, I painted this painting sort of as a reaction to and contemplation of the first several weeks and months of quarantine um, from this past year and how it's, it's titled safe at home, but you know, she doesn't look very happy about it. And just, just <laughs> that, you know, it was such a, I mean, it was the right choice for all of us to move into our homes, but it's also all the, the freedoms that we're giving up. And especially, um, in my own story, I have done a lot to, I have three kids and I had them when I was very young. And, and so for me to like get back out of just being a mother took a lot of effort and work. And then last year when we were all, I was like, Oh, <laughs> I'm just at home again with everybody. It felt a little traumatic to be cut off. And so this is a contemplation about that. And then there's the wild green behind her and the life outside, but she's, safe at home, you know, but she's in the shadow and um, yeah, so that one's just sort of yeah, a I'm contemplation. Just going up, I'm going over the texture here. Yeah. I'm going over the texture here. If you're just joining us, I want to welcome you to Space, Please, the exhibit by Katie Murphy, who is here talking with us about her work. And this is the first painting that we've been discussing. Um, safe at home. So I know I, I saw a couple of people trickle in just now. So oh, anyway, Hi. yes, this, so tell me, were most of these works all created in the last year then? Uh, most of them, yes. Mm -hmm. So this is all very, this is all pretty recent. This I is think a recent that one's the work. oldest one. That The, the blue one that's one. the blue one? Yeah, blue Pretty one? Things. That's the oldest one. I, that one's 2019. Um, and that's a, like a heart favorite of mine because I just love how she's screaming at you. And she's, <laughs> <laughs> I like appreciate her willingness to be protective, you know? And so that one really, when I think about the title of the show, I'm like, you need to scoot back. <laughs> you know, who, uh, the viewer is like too close to her and what's going on right there. Oh, interesting. You know, it's, it's funny, this is, this is one of the pieces in the show where, you know, my family, the fun thing about being in the dining room gallery is that my family ends up living with the art. And I always ask my kids, you know, which one is your favorite? Which one do you think is the most interesting? Which, and this is the one that gets the most interesting comments, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a challenging and aggressive image. And mm -hmm. it, um, but it has a lot of really fascinating texture in it. Like, you know, yeah. down there, the patterning contrasted with a sort of more representational form and then mm -hmm. the textures. And that's just really quite striking about it. Um, so do, do, would you, since this piece was created early on, mm -hmm. um, do you see, like, how is this in relationship to all of the things that you were talking about for the other piece behind me over here, um, mm -hmm. Safe at Home? Is this mm -hmm. piece... So like they're side by side. Let's talk about yeah. that. Why are they side by side? <laughs> oh, mainly mainly the green. I'm like the I think the painterliness and the brightness of those two. I just felt like they needed to be friends. Um, yeah, well, these the ideas that I was sort of forming this show with are have been in my head for a long time. Like I um, I'm interested in roles of motherhood and how that can be confining as well as like exciting. And so that mixed with like um, ideas of archetypes, the archetype of mother and the archetype of like a wild woman and how I think that might we be hold all of two. those. Yeah. And but like we hold all of those within ourselves. And um, I'm, I'm not just one thing like I'm not just a mother. Yeah. So these two, I I wanted to put them together because of um, the different sides of motherhood that they show. That one on the bottom is the most recent painting that I painted for the show. So I think it's like the most tender for me right now. Like I like love it <laughs> because I just relate to her, like her exhaustion and how um, she is like literally trapped by the furniture in that, picture that she's in like the um the window which leads to outside is far behind her it's not an easy escape 
And I titled that one, So Hold Me, Mom. Um, and when I was painting that, I was thinking about the idea of mother as an archetype and how we all are born with a longing for a mother, but we get people, you know, like I got Susie and my kids got Katie and it's like, I can do my best, but I'm never going to be able to reach the fulfillment of the idea and the longing that is an archetype. And so, you know, you're going to fail immediately as a mother and then you'll also succeed lots of ways. But just, I think that especially early on in my mothering, I was trying to do and be everything and you can't, but then right above there's this, I titled that one, the glow because when you're pregnant, people talk about how you're glowing. And that is a very sort of romantic painting, like um, idealizing and sort of celebrating the strength and beauty of a pregnant body and how you make space in your body for another person and you make space in your home and your heart. Um, also the light. <laughs> I work with photographs know. and I'm like the light. Uh, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Yeah, um, that, that is an interesting detail into your process. Can you share with us a little bit about, um, well, first of all, I want to extend another welcome to, I've seen some more people trickle in, and I wanted to say welcome to Eat Art Space Gallery and the opening for Katie Murphy. Her exhibit is called Space, Please, and our food feature is the Pacalachin, um, and we're going to talk about the Pacalachin in just a minute. But as you were saying, um, mm -hmm. you work from photographs primarily. Do you ever, like, I mean, obviously the screen prints are, you're not, you can't, like, pre- <laughs> paint a screen print <laughs> but um are, are well, all of these so pieces do. working from photographs like ha talk about how you compose an image and what mm -hmm. how you put that all together mm -hmm. they all at least have some part of a photograph in them I work very much intuitively and I do a lot of visual research of like so I will have like some um photo shoots sometimes with close friends and family that are up for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes they volunteer and I'm like, yes. And then I just really spend time with the images that I've found. And, um, and I sort of trust what I'm drawn to. And then a lot of times I'll be working on it. And as I work on it, I figure out what it's about. And I figure out like what I was drawn to or what I'm projecting onto it from my own experience. And, um, but uh, interesting what you mentioned with the screen prints. I, when I'm, using doing screen printing I paint ink um to make my transparencies so um I flip around to those guys yeah so so they are yeah it's like a hand I hand draw it. I don't um use a printer or anything I just it's easier for me to do it that way and I appreciate the textural quality that it gives the prints that um is usually such a flat there's some of, there's some of the text yeah yeah so you can see that I, I paint it with ink and then do it in layers, which is fun. Um, but yeah, did I answer your question? <laughs> I think that you did, working from photographs and working intuitively. And so, so working intuitively means that then I guess you are drawn to images that just are speaking about the ideas that happen to be in your head. And we've got, mm -hmm. um, on this wall, we actually have, let's see, there's one entitled Lindsay over here, mm -hmm. and then there's February Sun. And I'm assuming yeah. that I mean, this person is very obviously pregnant. But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, my my seven year old actually saw that it was the same room. Yes. She was like, "That's yeah. the same room, mom." <laughs> and I was like, it is. "Yes." You know, like <laughs> kids know how to look, man. Yeah, and, that's awesome. Um, so talk talk a little bit about the about this pair, and I'll flip mm -hmm. you know kind of between the two of them. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, in the one that's right. Let's see. Where do you want to start? Sure. February 7th. Okay. So, um, this was a photograph. I, I took a series of photos. That's where we had this little photo shoot. There was some really beautiful morning light and we took advantage of it, but I love these, this image and this idea. Um, to me right here, she's like Hestia and like, um, like goddess of the home and, um, but this oh, is I know we a, have some fans of Hestia in here. <laughs> yeah. But this is a, um, a second pregnancy. And so there's a mess everywhere. And I just love it because um, when you are preparing to have a baby, it's like you are, you're making a choice to move into your home. Like that's what you do for the first couple months. You just 
stay at home and inside, you know, and she's, I love this one, especially because um, this feels like a choice. Like this figure isn't shoved. She's, she's stretched out on her couch and she has lots of room on the canvas and in that space to breathe and be. And it's like the windows are right mm. there. Um, because also, I think in creating these images, I started to develop a um, contrast between the freedom of nature and being outside of your home and how you get to take up more space and versus being sort of compressed in the home. But these two images, uh, like this one, Lindsay, I think has a lot of dignity and beauty in it. And it's really just sort of about her, it's my, my model, who's my sister, mm -hmm. and, and just the strength that it takes to be pregnant and a mom and to choose those things and to choose to come into the home for a while and to let go of parts of yourself because you have to, um, to raise kids. And when it's a choice like that, it's really beautiful and I think something to be celebrated. Um, mm -hmm. When it's forced on you, it's a totally different. Mm -hmm. It's a different know, experience for sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Motherhood's complicated. It is very complex. It's, it's <laughs> extremely complex. And that's, mm -hmm. I always feel obligated to share like the sweet and the sour together. Like it's exhausting and I would do it again, you know? Like, I, yeah. Um, I was yeah, saying something like, like that. I have three kids as well for the yeah. record. Um, I would like to take a moment and at least talk about our food feature. Yes. This has all been very juicy, but tell me, like <laughs> I found the pack of latch and I forget how, and they're way up in Abingdon. Um, but the way that this worked th tonight was actually, you know, the pack collection is a food truck. So they cook in batches and they do events. And so they prepare food. And also like, interestingly, they just had a baby. Woo. Um, <laughs> congratulations, Caitlin and Mosin. Um, <laughs> so Caitlin and Mosin run the food truck together and, um, they have, they have a very interesting story. You can read about it on their website. And I really encourage you to dig, to dig deep because Caitlin works in education and Mosin is like a photographer and does a bunch of other stuff. And, and they just started this and they give it back to their community in beautiful ways. But we had their menu item called curry me down South. It's a blend of Pakistani and Appalachian food. And I printed out a photo of it because, um, mm -hmm. we got to taste it when they were cooking about a month ago and they're also cooking next week. And this is a, um, it, I don't know, how would you, how would you describe it? Like the different components of it. There was that, that hot, nice. that hot, hot green sauce. Yes. And then the, um, the sort of reddish brown curry on top of a creamy potato base instead of like yeah. a rice that you would kind of assume. Right. I was so surprised and I was like, this is excellent. <laughs> I love how they are choosing the different elements and putting them together and, and really fusing it. Um, yes. And yeah. it's so it's a fusion of their childhood cuisine. And so I've also printed out a picture of the food truck in case you have not been following it on Instagram. Um, I almost feel like it's worth just checking the, checking them out for the mural on the food truck, which was hand painted by a Pakistani awesome. man. So it's really like, it's like oh, a whole cool. experience. So, um, yeah. yeah. So if anybody's available, like if you're up in Abingdon this weekend or next weekend, let me see what their schedule is real quick. Cause I printed it out. Um, <laughs> they're at Wolf Hills Brewing on the 22nd and they are at three, four, three designs on the 20th and on the 30th at Abingdon Vineyard. So if you want to like get some wine with your Pakistani food, that would be the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're super yummy and they cooked for me and, um, and Katie, and it was really delicious. It's really <laughs> so good. I feel it very really selfish good. whenever I <laughs> doing that. It's like, oh, this is so delicious. Um, so are there, are there things that you would like to like, are there influences or pieces of background information that you feel that you're pulling into your work and your process that you would like that you feel are relevant to this, to these stories, maybe besides your personal stories that you've already been sharing. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. um, I know that you just recently graduated from ETSU. Congratulations. Class of 2020. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I loved being at ETSU. It was awesome. Um, yeah. Some of my like artistic influences, I have to say, um, 
the one I always like to mention first is Carolee Schneeman's interior scroll performance from 1975. When I was first learning about that performance that she gave, um, where she is literally speaking out of her womanhood and femininity, it was like a, um, it was like an event for me. It was, and to really give validity to be able to make work and make art about what happens in my life. And, and it doesn't really matter if <laughs> there are some people who can't relate or think maybe it's less because especially the motherhood part, um, cause I have complex feelings about making work about being a mom. And it's like, I don't only make work about being a mom, but that is a huge part of my life. And so it ends up coming out in my work sometimes. Um, but I appreciate her feminism and her willingness to um, just be bold about speaking her stories and her truth and like owning those things. And so that's like a fundamental influence for me, um, for her. But then when it comes to paint and painterliness, um, another one that's always an influence for me is Eric Fischel. He's a contemporary oil painter and I, he uh, also works from photos, and so I enjoy learning about his process, and he um, creates narrative figure-driven work, and I also, I just love the paint quality. I, I love looking at his paintings, because they're just, <laughs> they're, they're beautiful, and they're I don't loose. think I've had the chance to, to really feature any of these yet, so I'm swinging oh, around yeah. over here. Those are the gals that are in nature, and they're doing just fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like, they're taking up space and um, hanging out. But then, uh, yeah, like when it comes to like light and how I like to paint to um, David Park and Elmer Bischoff and his um, painters from the Bay Area figurative movement in the 50s and 60s, they were like coming out of abstract expressionism and like taking the way people painted, but bringing the figure back into that. I, I, um, I enjoy working that way. I have a lot of energy. And when I like to move, that's why I, li I love working large because I get to use my whole body, you know, mm. and I get to really let paint be paint. And so I feel very nerdy about paint. Like it's just so um, physical and sensual. And I love that part of it. And so oh, really we, have interesting. A, we have a comment and a question. And actually, I want to encourage other people to ask Katie questions. I forgot to say that. Drop whatever your <laughs> questions you have in the comments, please, because we would love to engage with whatever you guys have to say. Um, there's a, a Art of the Everyday wants to know, I didn't hear Carolee's last name. Can you say her last name again? From of the Sheeman. artist. Sheeman. Sheeman. S-C-H-E-E-N. -E -E. -E -N -E -N. -E -N. N-A-N. Yes. N-E-E-N-N. -E -N. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, hopefully Google will help you when you try to spell yes. that, right? She's very, very present on Google. Yes. She'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, ha I have a question for you. If other okay. people do not have a question for you as I try to write my camera. Um, I wanted to know what, like, about your choice to work with people who you know mm -hmm. as opposed to – um, say a professional model or somebody who's not a part of your close inner circle, because I know that there's, um, I mean, there, there's like a whole history of how much do you share personally? How much do you make uh -huh. work about your personal, like uh -huh. all of those questions and you have like two seconds. No, I'm just kidding. It's like, <laughs> but it's you okay. know, is quick. there anything that you would like to share and reflect on with regards to that? Um, I just care so much more when it's, pictures and photos and ideas about the people who are in my life. Like I, I have used some images before that I've just found on the internet and I just don't have near as much personal connection to the piece. Um, Cause I, I'm, I bring a lot of myself to the work and um, you know, a significant amount of projection as most people do. And, but when it's someone who's in my life, um, a lot of times I end up painting about, either what's going on with me or what's going on with them using their figure as a vehicle for empathy. So. Well, that's uh, yeah. very well said. And I, I want to <laughs> shout out to everybody here that Katie's work is for sale. And that if you like, yeah. I really want someone to take this one home, this bright so yellow cozy. one. I mean, like, of course mm -hmm. it's like, it's a wonderful, like enveloping scene and it's such a bright, cheerful color. And so it's, it's a happy painting. I really like, like, it is. I love bright colors. And I do. 
<laughs> There's something really marvelous about it. So um, each of these works is available and you can purchase them at eart.space slash purchase through the end of next, well, end of next week, the 20th or so. Mm -hmm. And, um, and also you can now come and make appointments to visit the gallery, everybody. So if you like what you see here and you want to like get up and like smell the paintings, you can actually come do that. Just DM me and we'll work it out. So we are based in Johnson city. If it's a bit of a drive for you, I'm also happy to like make a virtual appointment with you. If it's just like a pain. So anyway, um, you can also follow Katie Murphy at katiemurphy.art, correct? Yes. I was yep. like, trying to remember that's that. Me. Yes, so, that's good memory again. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, so please go follow her and follow the Pacalachin because you want to follow that truck around. And, oh, another note about the Pacalachin is that last I heard they were trying to work on their licensing for Tennessee because you've got, oh, you know, sweet. complicated. Mm. But, you know, mm. COVID happened while they were trying to do that. And um, so that's pending like johnson city might not have pakistani food just yet but it's just up the border so let's like let's go eat um <laughs> are there any shout outs to people who you that you would love to like um at least i don't know this this is the place where you plug other people and tell me to feature other people right now yeah oh sweet yes well i'll yeah. definitely shout out to um christian reven my painting teacher at christian reven art on instagram Sage Parrot, my printmaking teacher at Hey Peep. Sean Williams at Sean Williams Art on Instagram. It's my painting brother. And Carla Taylor at C Taylor. Oh, Art. I saw Carla. I think she just popped in here. What's up, Carla? What's up? <laughs> the beautiful fibers and um, she does multimedia work and collage and everything. So yeah. And um, yeah, thanks to my family and all my friends who do let me use their images in my work. And Jocelyn, thank you for being an active force in our community for art and um, for bringing it to us, even in these crazy times. Appreciate Look, your effort. It's totally an honor to have you in my dining room. And I look forward <laughs> to having other people in my dining room. Okay, so if you like literally just walk through the door, this is a dining room gallery in the middle of Johnson City, Tennessee. And um, yeah, that's what you need to know. This is Katie Murphy Art. Um, follow her at katiemurphy.art. Mm -hmm. I would love to tell everybody that we are taking a break for June because in July, there is the anniversary. Like I've been doing oh, this for sweet. a year, you guys. Like Congratulations. COVID, COVID is what made all of this happen. And um, and I, I'm really excited to keep it going. I would love to have to have people like continue to show work in here, even post COVID when we're doing things in person and blah, 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 blah. So um, if there are people that you know, and I am saying this to you, Katie, or to anybody in the audience that you want to see featured or whose work you feel is just really amazing, please send them my way. I am, I'm here. And I'm also, so there'll be a call for art going out later on, um, but break for June anniversary show in July. We have Donna Moore and Susan Patrice, who are two photographers. And, um, and we're going to be doing, uh, like a, another appointment, you know, gallery visits and things like that for that. So, um, yeah, July, July 8th. And then we are booked from then through November. So Sweet. there's a whole calendar of things happening and I would love to have, like to continue to host you guys and then, um, look for a call for art for 2022. So, um, yeah, that's happening. And some other cool <laughs> things. I'm talking to a bunch of people about cool things, so um, I'm awesome. very excited for that. If you want to continue the conversation, um, and I say that to people who are watching, or if you didn't quite get enough, you can hop over to Facebook because we're about to get started over there for the Facebook people. So, um, Katie, any last yes. words for Instagram? Yeah, I don't think so. Thanks, everybody. I love you. Thank you, like everybody, for here. showing up for Katie. And please join us on Facebook Live at eatart.space or just go and take one of her paintings home at eatart.space eat <laughs> slash purchase. Um, so we'll see you all in a few minutes. Bye, Thanks. everybody. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>